It all started on Palm Sunday, when the King of Kings rode into his city with peace on a young donkey. Ephesians chapter 1, Paul writes, I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your heart enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to what he has called you. Easter is important to me because it's a time of gathering and celebrating that Jesus died on the cross and rose again. This transition of Jesus finally allowing all people to publicly worship him. He spoke all week of the upcoming death and resurrection. And Friday was climaxed with the words, it is finished. To me, Easter is the day that Jesus rose from suffering for my sin. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power toward us who believe? Easter means to me that Jesus died for my sins and defeated the power of sin and death. An earthquake, the divided curtain, was torn from top to bottom, separating the Holy of Holies and opening it for all to meet him. According to the working of his great might that he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. Easter is important to me because it's a reminder of new life and that nothing is stronger than God, not even death. He died on the tree. The king said, it is finished. His body, the temple, was destroyed. Three days. If that was the end of the story, there would be no hope. But it isn't. Then came the morning. Death will never be the end. He rose again victoriously. And I no longer need to be afraid because he has conquered all fear. This gives me hope that I can have eternal life through him. No triumphal entry, no parade, no army. The king was alive, the temple was destroyed on Friday, and was now rebuilt, complete with the scars of the destruction. It gives me great hope that Jesus died and rose for me, because he loves me, even though I am sinful. For in Romans 8.29, for those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. He died for us to give us life, and to give us hope he rose. What Easter means to me is that the infinite power that raised Christ from the dead is also at work in my life to give me that same resurrection power to live in a manner that pleases God. Easter is the reminder of that eternal hope. It happened just as he said it would. The hope of resurrection was now alive. Believe and trust for his words work.